Hi all, uh, welcome back to the SAB Business Object Processing for Framework demo series. So today we're going to uh, see the demo how we can create the uh, sub node for the existing business object. So from the last session we know so here is the two transaction code which is majorly used to design your business object as well as to test your business object let's open the uh, design transaction code to create the sub node since i created the business object as a local object so under these you have the objects so you can see how many local business objects are available let's expand that and open our business object and expand the node structure so here we are going to create the new sub node so we are in display mode let's use a toggle button to change to change mode and now you place the cursor on your root node and right click and you can create the sub node here so there are different types of node which is possible to model it on this transaction so we just go with the standard node to capture our item information I'll select the standard node so now it's available so you can see in the right right side working area so what is the node name you want to give i'll just go with item detail and also as a description so you can see here there's node types there are different node types are available so by since we created a standard node so you have the standard node option so then it's a similar approach how we model our uh, no, uh, our root node same way you can create the um, our item node so I'll just change this so is a, I just you know this is a business object name is it ret retail order yes and then the root nodes so I'll just go with here item then the D is a data structure I'll go with a similar approach to copy that to combine structure and combine table type. Change it to T to make sure that it's a table type. And then you have the database table. So I'll just go with that order item. yes so now we just save this business object node so it's available on that website so now we design now we go on now model the attribute for the data structure right click on double click on the data structure yes create the data structure i'll order item details so whatever you want to have lion or maybe let's say item number so you can give existing um any data element which you know otherwise you can go with the you no know, the default uh, uh predefined type uh, i'll just go with int two so i need only an integer number as a 10 then this five and then i need a material number matn number so we know we know the um data element for the material and then so we want to capture the quantity We know that the quantity should be a decimals with the three digits so we want to have some predefined type or maybe you can go and use a create your own data element so i'll just go with the standard data element k w m e n g which is a predefined uh, quantity and then you want to have the unit of measure for the quantity m 
Yes. Okay. And then you have the price. So I'll just go with the unit price. This is a single unit price of my material. So I want to have the to be captured as NETPR, a single price as a net price. And then I want to capture the total item price. And that will be like a NET wr because this is only 11 length and two decimals so this is 15 and two decimals so that's uh, much more you know currency information you can store it here and then you have a unit of measure for the currency These all are I'm just going with the predefined data types so to make sure that you no, know, you know, having the right data type is been captured. So since we have a quantity and the currency fields are used in my structure, I have to define the reference details. So just copy that from my structure and I define this. I think this is pretty much similar to your you know, normal S11 structure or maybe table definition. That's it, and define the um, enhancement category for your data structure, and save your structure, and do the check, and activate your structure. So structure is active now, active now, let's go back. So once we have, we generated the structure as you know how to, you know, create the combined structure or how to generate the combined structure and combined table time database table for this node. So same approach, but want to make sure that, you no, know, you are, whenever you do the regeneration, it generates the, for entire business object. If there is any changes happen on root node, data structure or combined structure, that will be also regenerated as per the current definition. So make sure that you have a right option has been selected. So I'll just go with here, always deep and combined structure, data table, combined table type, database table, and all the information has been selected. Let's press OK. So as you see here, so the elements names here and these, all these data structure index and table types are generated correctly. Now just make sure that you activate your business object, go and check, check and correct and generate your business object. So business object is generated successfully. So now we model the second node for the same business object. Under that here you can see, so I have two node here on the node elements. You can see, you can see the no root and item details. When you expand this option, so you have all the elements to be modeled for that particular node. Same way it is available for your item node also. Next session, probably we see how we can model the elements and how we can test this business object. Thank you.